had to make sure we got uh, Rebecca on the program with us because last week, last Thursday, we talk about people getting scammed all the time. Yes. And be careful. And, and you've taught us to be very leery when you're online because somebody could right. be out to get you. Right, not everyone is who they say they are and you found that out too. It's very easy to spoof other people's identities. Even so. friends that Even you have. Even friends because there's been so many uh, breaches of just Facebook and social media data and people think oh you know that's no big deal because it doesn't have my financial information but it can lead to these types of things because they can get in and create uh, another identity or they can take over your friend's actual identity so and that's exactly what happened someone that we all know a good friend of ours and I did talk to him and got permission to use his name Steve Smith the guy who runs fast signs here in Des Moines um, uh -huh. I remember last week or so I had a friend request from Steve and I thought that was a little unusual and so I said of course I accepted it and then I get this this started up about what 630 ish roughly 630 on Thursday with him just asking how I, how I was doing that does not seem out of the ordinary mm -hmm. so you continue on said pretty good Steve hope all is well on your end it says yes I'm fine have you heard about the Facebook raffle uh -huh. draw promo yet right uh -huh. then the, f the flag is raised right and I think about Rebecca and what she says now this is you can see the time Line. We kept the timeline on here, and I even mentioned that our security expert, you know, tells us to steer clear of this. Goes, it's legit. The founder of Facebook used all the Facebook profile names to enter for a promo. My name is selected amongst the winners. So, okay, okay, that sounds good. No way. What did you get? And here's where it starts getting good. Yeah. I won 70 grand, and the UPS man came to my home, and I also saw your name on the winners list. <laughs> <laughs> how, how lucky is that? Mm -hmm. So, uh, have you gotten your money from them yet is what they ask. So, I, I keep the conversation going. Yeah. While we're doing this, I'm trying to get a hold of Rebecca on my phone. <laughs> and, it says, uh, and he says, I'm serious. This money is real. You need to contact them to get your money. And I, so, then I start deciding we're going to play along with this guy to see how far he's going to sure. go. So, again, you can see the timeline. This is, within 10 minutes, this guy is doing all this. Click on the link, and there's the link. I'm leaving it up there so you folks can see what this idiot is trying to do. His bonehead thought I was just going to click on that link, send him a friend request first, tell him you want to claim your money. Mm -hmm. You're on the phone with me about this time yeah. right now, and obviously Rebecca says, don't do that, right. which didn't plan on it, and it says, great, thanks. And then I say, I'm calling you now, because I know this guy, I've <laughs> right, known him for right. years. Right. Oh, my phone is out of commission yeah. at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it's uh, okay, great. And so I can you uh, too bad about yours? And then I just, we decided to test to see if it's him. Now, Fast Sign is a thriving business right, in this community. Right. We all know this. Is that too bad about your business closing up shop to see what his response would be? Uh -huh. Yes, but I want to receive the money. I'll be looking, it's like, yeah, he fell right into it. Right. So he's going along with it, and it says, hey, in fact, we decided to do a story about your luck, and my luck, and the other stations would be so jealous. And this guy's like, ha ha, you know, he's like, laugh, it sounds great. Have you talked to the agent yet? They want me to talk to the agent. They want me to, to click on that right. link to try to make communications. Then we respond, we're setting a news crew your way. Are you at the office or down the street at home? Steve doesn't even live down the street from the office, okay? <laughs> this will be awesome for the news. And then he says, well, why not get your money, then go to the news? Well, that's when we go, hey, bonehead. You know, what are you talking about? Now, thanks for your IP address. Yeah. And this is where Rebecca helped out because you said, give him some things, no, you're not messing around, and this is what we did, and he is, duh, he's on the news right now, so there you go, buddy, and then his response after this before he vanishes off the face of the earth, why not come to me now since you got my IP, and then he disappears. Right. Yeah. So, you know, he tried it, and he, he thought, he probably thought he had somebody going for a yes. while, but it didn't work. Yeah. Did end up talking to Steve, and yes, his, his Facebook uh, account was taken over. Somebody did, uh, you know, jump on it and, and hack it, as they say. Right. And, but he has that corrected now, so everything's cool with Oh, it. that's good. Yeah. That's good. And a good, strong password, mm -hmm. hopefully. But I love what you did, because if you can document when people are trying to do these things, it really does help, because then you can submit it to uh, the FTC, or you 
you can submit it to the Attorney General's office of your state. And it's a really good example of what people will try to do. And, you know, this guy was persistent and he probably thought, ooh, this, you know, Lou's interested. He's going to be clicking yeah. on this before you know it. And of course, if you clicked on something before you know it, you could have got something loaded onto your computer. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have had an app loaded. I mean, that's something that's happening a lot. I had a friend just a couple of weeks ago. She said, you know, can you help me out? I have a friend who every time she clicks on anything on Facebook, it takes her to a closed group where only Arabic is spoken, and she doesn't know Arabic. And she's like, how could she fix this? And I said, well, go check your apps. You know, you go to the left side of your screen, it says more, click it. I said, if there's things in there that you don't recognize, delete it, get rid of it. And after she did that, why well, your problem went away. Hmm. But just wow. clicking on things, when people try to get you to go there, mm -hmm. you did perfect. I mean, what I do too sometimes is when I see these things, I actually get on the phone. You know, you get on the phone with me, which is good. I get on the phone with the actual person and I say, you know, somebody's uh, pretending to be you. And, and I did talk to Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's at great. At the end of our conversation, I end up getting... Now, is it dangerous to get in conversation with them because then they might be getting into your system and finding things well, out? Well, yeah, if you're not aware of everything that could happen, I would say just ignore them, you know, get rid of them, uh, call your friend and let them know, but don't respond to them. Right. Because that's where you get in trouble. I mean, this is something I do for a living, so I know... Uh, how to notice the signs of when people are trying to do bad things. But if it's something that you haven't done a lot of research or background in, in dealing with these things, just don't mess with them. But do get print screens mm -hmm. like what you did. Yeah, that was on message. That was on Facebook messaging mm -hmm. is where that was. Okay. okay. And if you don't have that, why there should be on your keyboard a, a print screen or on your smartphone, you can typically save a, a print screen of what's on there and then save that somewhere so you can have that as documented evidence if you need it. Now, if people call, and that happens a lot, there's a lot more right. calling. Um, I actually use a, a free tool called Audacity. It's something oh. that I've been using for years to do podcasts, but I keep that loaded, and then when somebody calls, I just click the record Audacity? and I start recording okay. it. Yeah, it's Audacity okay. and it's a really nice free tool. But there's also recorders like Periscope. You can see right. people using that all the time. You could use that to mm -hmm. record also. But uh, yeah, keep keep documented evidence and you might be able to help put somebody away. I mean, there's a guy in Las Vegas, he's called the Spam King. And what he did was he got into some stolen Facebook accounts and he had 500,000 accounts that he sent 27 million spam messages to over a period of years and now he's facing you know multi-million dollars in fines wow. and jail time but he was doing this kind of like what this person tried with you he would send out messages to people and say you know here's a great deal mm -hmm. all you got to do is just click here or give us your credit card and you know we will help you out there was a, a lot of people People right now are getting taken with these scams saying that they've won the lotto from their state and the messages will come through Facebook well if you win the lotto, lotto not you're not going to tell you through Facebook <laughs> but what they say is oh great you won the lotto all you have to do is pay the taxes and then we'll send you a check hmm. and so be aware of that too because if you win the lotto they they're going to take the taxes out of your winnings they aren't going to ask you to pay the taxes up front so right. a lot of people have lost thousands of dollars wow. in that. Wow. All right. There's just some things to keep in uh, keep in mind when dealing with Facebook. Yeah, I would say too, limit who can see your your friends list. That will help a lot because most people make their friends list public. How do you do that? Um, you can actually go into your privacy settings and you can uh, limit who can see your friends to either only yourself. Uh, or you can do it to only your friends. And a lot of times people like that their friends can see other friends so mm. that they get in touch. I use custom. So that means that I only allow just a few people to see my friends list. And then that way, you know, I know them. I, some of my friends I've never met in person, but I, I let some of my mm. personally own, known friends see my friends list. So limit that. That's a huge thing. And, and use a, a good password because people are getting brief breach fatigue and after their accounts have been breached they don't change it and here's a weird thing a survey um, excuse me recently came out and when they
they asked them why they didn't change their password, 37% said because I had a good strong password. Well, obviously it was did. breached. <laughs> yeah, he did. Change it. All right, so people want to get some information about how to stay safe. What are some of your places where you can Yes, go? Uh, this is my uh, site that I provide a lot of assistance, especially to small to mid sized organizations who need help and they might not have the resources. I also have a consulting site that you can go to. And if you have a question, click the question mark. I'll be happy to, to answer it. And uh, this is my original site. So that's kind of an archive site where I put stuff out there, a question mark there too. Lots of my writings and books and stuff you can see out there. Good. Well, good. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me. Love having you here.